DLP or data loss prevention is an essential tool to keep sensitive data secure and safeguard against accidental or intentional data leakage. Thanks to the Security and Compliance Center, configuring a DLP policy has never been easier. And since sensitive information can be stored in documents as well as emails, Office 365's DLP policies can be applied to OneDrive or SharePoint documents. As your organization's Office 365 administrator, you can create a policy from scratch or use one of the templates provided to you by Microsoft. To get started, log into portal.office.com and select Security and Compliance from your admin portals list. Once in the Security and Compliance Center, select Data Loss Prevention from the left-hand menu, followed by Policy. In this view, you can see a report of any DLP violations or false positives, but to create a new policy, select Create a Policy button. This will bring up the DLP Policy Wizard, where you can select the template that matches your criteria. In this example, we will choose U.S. Financial, then we will give the policy a name or add any additional details, then choose where we want the policy to run. Finally, we can fine-tune our policy by making changes in the policy settings. Review your settings and click Create to Finish. Your new policy will show as on but you should allow 24 hours for changes to take effect. Now, from the user's perspective, we see that when we type an email with criteria that matches the policy, I receive a mail tip letting me know that the message contains sensitive information, but if I proceed to send the message anyway, I receive one email to notify me that the message I sent violates my organization's policies, and another email letting me know that the message I just sent has been blocked by my organization. All of these settings can be configured in the Policy Settings tab if you're the administrator. I'm Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department, and we'll see you next time.